I've never really done anything like that. I never really used ground stop or leap in this game. It's like something I would use back in Diablo 3. It's a pretty good ring. I think I'll take it. I just need to put the Valkyrie blood drops on it. And Good to get there in one minute. Sure. 63. I think I'll get to World Tier 3 or World Tier 4 today. So I can always go to the dungeon early. I don't know how early, but. I need more time. We'll see. Another elixir. Just another elixir. Why well, I just pull out my uh Oh yeah, also when they add the new expansion, they're gonna add new abilities to all the pre-existing classes. That's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm hoping to add Ren. Maybe they can add Ren. Uh, not Ren, Cleave. Cleave for Barbarian. I know they added the Tempering for Bash. But Cleave, that's something I wanna kind of add. Cleave. Um, maybe a shout that lasts longer, but is like less effective. Just like you want to constantly pop it. Don't do I'm not ready yet. I still have enough to like kill a boss. Anything. Or 
Sound like it. I'm afloat. Um, for the sorcerer, I'm hoping they add either a new element. I don't know what that element could be. Or they add some more, you know, variety to the pre-existing abilities or pre-existing um elements. This is like the first expansion, like we said on the trailers. The first expansion. going to be adding this dungeon. I took it as like more of like a raid scenario. Not me, but someone else said, but you know, to me, this guy said there were raids, then he said there was a dungeon that you had to team up people. And to me, that sounded like a raid. <laughs> you know, so like they're adding a dungeon where you, where you have to add, where you have to team up people. So it's going to be like a raid, something that, you know, like in World of Warcraft can't be like one so you have to have a lot of people. So in this game, it requires any more than one person. That's like raid difficulty, raid level. That's gonna be cool. They're gonna be some stuff, I guess, right? Thank you. Mm, efficient. Well done. I really like the trailer. That's my that might be one of the, my favorite trailers. I showed it on an episode that I made yesterday. I didn't, I didn't publish it yet, or uh, even edit it. Probably nothing happened, but it'll be there. The game comes out. Time around, so so much place coming out like a week from now. The latest news in Diablo isn't necessary unless it's like it's coming out tomorrow, which usually isn't the case. It needs to be like some very good news. Like you have to like really put together like a good video in my opinion. Being the first one to release, it's cool. But usually it isn't coherent. Like Diablo's not the most like like um I don't know. People don't really talk about it or write about it. People usually just ready. like play it. It's like almost always confusing to see some Diablo news. And then like, you know, if people just took longer or put I guess more effort into making it make sense. You know, it would probably be way better. But yeah, that was the best trailer I've ever seen. Any game trailer. Even like back in Diablo 3, they had some pretty good, some pretty good, um, you know, like CGI, whatever, like videos, cutscenes. But this new DLC trailer, like it might be like the best trailer I've ever seen for a game. Like it wasn't cheesy, it wasn't backed up by like a, a crowd of streaming fans. It wasn't like something anticipated, it just was really good. I'm not ready yet. Like I didn't know what to expect. It was really scary too. Tense, I guess you could say, right? I need more 
more time. much to say about DLC because it would take probably like a week to make a video about some Diablo news. Not that there's a lot of information, but like you have to stretch everything out and make it broad and watery and understandable. I'm and I feel like people naturally yeah. just accept Diablo emotionally or just, you know, within themselves so it's like just the legendary thing, so it's really necessary to do anything crazy like that. More so, like to point them to the news. Like, like here's the blog post. Like, I'm going to talk about what I see on the paper, what I see on the screen. Like, people who do videos about Diablo and talk about their opinions, it's almost like not necessary. <laughs> like, people may agree with your opinion. But it's like someone who makes Star Wars videos about some upcoming news and they're telling you about their favorite Star Wars character. Like, it's not really that important. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh my god, I'm making a, a video about the new expansion. Wow, guys, you know I love the Barbarian so much. I love the Barbarian so much. Barbarian, Barbarian, Barbarian. He's like, wow, this guy really um, is doing a lot of necessary things. Like, just tell us what's coming out. <laughs> like, sometimes people go to the news for the news, for the information. All I really can tell you is that it um, comes out October, October 8th. Um, adding one class. And they, they specifically said that it's the first expansion, so be, there will be more. So if you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and put all your eggs into this expansion, you can still enjoy it. You know, what it impact you was, you know, whatever, at whatever level. Like, okay, I, like you might not care about any jungle stuff. It's cool. You might not really care about the story. The story is something to care about. The story's good. If you care about the story, it's good. It's not going to hurt you to care about. It's a good story. It's worth it. And, um, you know, I'm definitely gonna be pre ordering it, trying to get a good edition. Maybe I don't really need a good edition. I don't always buy this in the past, so I don't really need platinum or anything. I might just drop 40 for like the. Uh, the regular edition. I don't really want to put up with like a bunch of fluff. Like on my channel, I think I'm someone people think doesn't buy DLC and expansion, like ultimate edition, let alone an ultimate edition for an expansion. Like, by the end of the day, like I feel like I'm someone who has played enough games to understand. Having nothing isn't fun. Like, buying the regular edition isn't any fun. Buying the ultimate edition and getting a skin, and like, a couple weeks later, months later, no one else can even get those skins anymore, and it's like, it actually is something to have. It's not like emotional value, it's like, it's almost like a collector value, right? Which is literally what it is, like it's collector's edition. Do you want the collector edition skin? No? Then don't worry about it. I'm sure if it was like a physical copy, People would be okay with that because there's actually some value to gain. So buying like a hundred dollar DLC is kind of it sounds crazy, but if you if you've seen what you get or you see like how games are nowadays, like you would be like, oh that's regular. Like a hundred dollar hundred dollar DLC, like that's completely regular at this point. <laughs> hundred dollar expansion. Then there's gonna be another expansion, that's another hundred dollars. <laughs> It's a pretty good mace. Now I gotta um, use it. Just give me the damage. Give me the. Give 
give me this. That's pretty powerful. That's an upgrade I really have. Let's upgrade it to it. Those are some pretty good boots. I think I'm gonna do it. So I gotta temper the boots and the arm that and looks warm. the, the, the I weapon. Can fix it. What should we put up there? Some movement speed? Seventy-five is good. Better than what I had. Just grab everything. I did the um. Already did this event. Grab my Not cash. Not while I'm in town. It is done. Yeah. Oh, weapons, I always need to get Legion event, not really interested. I haven't gone to the Hall of Penance yet, ever, so this could be a first. Let's go check that out. to like the most recent season. Do I have the body parts or crafting components necessary? I need for this? time to do that. Didn't steal. Is this the one with the um construct boss? Wait. 
feel like I've been here before. I'm afraid. Let's see. Living steel, yeah, this might be the construct. Oh, I have four. Okay, yeah, I've been here before. It's like, seems kind of familiar. It's unique it's cool, but you know. How do you reset the dungeons? If I go back in here, it'll be reset. I want to fight him a couple more times. But it's really easy to grind, and it's a very small dungeon to get there. I'm afraid. I think I have a lot of living steel to boot. I have 16 living steel. I'm a 70 for the, the War Tier 4 dungeon. Do you think I can get in there at like 65? Or. Oh, it's not even here yet. I think I'm gonna jump in there right now. Cause I'm very powerful with over, over, over power. And I've seen people get into do dungeons at you know some crazy levels. I'm not really intimidated or really worried. Level 70 enemy four tier, four tier three. I need more time. It's in red. Yeah, I probably can't I probably can't really do it. Basically. I need time to do that. I can at least look and see if I can do it. I haven't really been to volcano, that volcano area very often. It's pretty dope. I'm not ready yet. I really do want to get into the, um, you know, I want to get into the gauntlet. Apparently there's things you can get that empower the gauntlet, similar to uh, Nightmare Sigils, right? So they can empower it. At least that's what I think I saw. There we are. This place is cursed. Enemies are... Not ready yet. Enemies are oh seventy, but there you go. <laughs> yet. As long as the enemies don't end up being like level like seventy plus. Once I get to World Tier 3, I should be fine. Like, I should be good with this. But it's kind of like snapping around the way. Very
wasn't expecting to be able to do this. really using blood or iron whatever it's called iron skin is there something that gives me increased movement speed here it is yeah but if you use crowd control as well I'll take that I'll take that all day I'm afraid Why can't I get into there? I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Oh, the enemies first. I'm afraid. Actually, I'm getting curses. I completed the curse of the week challenge now. I have like. I'm getting weak. 
basically from that. And then, you know, I probably have a new one. Yeah, I have the curse of the indolent. Indolence? <laughs> I was going to say insolence. I'm supposed to insert this into. I don't think so. I think it would have told me. I probably should finish these areas I haven't seen yet. Make sure. right here. Ground stop. That was pretty cool. Goes in my ground stop mode, but I'm not currently doing it. But I was.
That'd be cool if there was like a new ability added to Berserk or the Barbarian that allowed you to like soak up damage and explode. Or mint. Unlocking Horn of Trial. Yeah, I want to get to this pit. I don't even know what the Horn of Trials is. Feels of Hatred. Level 75, that's what I was kind of dreading. That's what I kind of thought was going to happen. Wait, 46. Yeah, I'm not, be able, I'm not going to be able to do that. Same monster spec proof of might and boost your score to get the highest score before the timer ends. Heroes. Oh, is this like this is like the um the the leaderboard thing? Okay. I didn't know that that was even accessible. I never heard anyone say anything about it. Leaderboard. World boss, 50 minutes. Yeah, we're in World Tier 4. We got like 40 more levels to go for level 100. I should be able to complete a lot more of uh, the chapter now that I'm in World Tier 4. I want to save this. There goes an Ancestral Rare. I definitely trick this out to make it better. Upgrade basically. Alright, travel. Let's change the enchantments. No need rupture. Impairment reduction, I'll take that. Father bless. And we'll uh, turn it into I don't really need that. Is that the bubble thing? I definitely don't need an Ultra 4 at this level. Just to be like the premier, um, the premier legendary to grab the bubble. <laughs> I'm saying. I think it's time to change my my skin as well. This is, you know, this is cool, but I'm sure I can probably find something better. I'm just looking for ancestrals at this point. We're done with the uh, sacred. I just have to temper the helmet. Let me just get some healing.
Where's the uh, potion, dude? Oh, it's probably under this I can't quest do that marker. Here. You have a good arm. Oh my god, this ancestral is just dope. Let's upgrade to that as well. We all upgrades. I kind of want to switch to my um, brown stomp. Brown stomp uh, leap build. Let's do it. Let's use bash. power anymore. As far as the secondary, probably good with ancients. Good round stomp. And the leap. my key passive. I'll probably just go with my battle rage again. And, uh, this should be good. Gotta change some legendaries around. Let's go with this. What if I... Just use this board. Oh no. Okay, what can I do like for some other effects? Leap. This is ground stop. I guess I'll just switch over to ancient silver power. I don't know. Could do more damage for wills, but it's not bad. For vulnerability, I can actually get something like that. like some bludgeon in there. need overpower right now. That's more damage. It's an earthquake. <laughs> Need it. Ah. That's the point of this build, by the way. Leap and uh, ground stomp. More of an ability base, not a, um, you know, primary core. 
I could have got an iron skin. This isn't here with the ancients. It's not gonna be the biggest thing. And my cooldowns and all that for uh I've just seen so many good things for a uh, leap and round stomp. It's like I have to try something. Oh, that's cool. Or when pulls enemies, that's kind of good. Damaging and Enemy Let's kick a ground stop resets leaves cool down to that's what I want. That's what you want. That's me everything. Until free. Okay. No Let's upgrade this whole arm. Only honest magic. What should I grab? healing thing right here for doing damage. I saw a bash. Get that bash to have kind of carried me. Even though it was like overpowered bash, but. Anything here for like kick and ground stomp? Upheaval. Or the ancient size? Leap size. Size thing. Yeah, getting like earthquake and earth duration on that is good. Like leap size slam, that's good. I'll take it. I'll throw in like some, um, what is this called? Topaz. For basic attack damage, which I definitely need. May the light keep you. What else can I get for like just straight damage? That should be everything. Real quick. Four. Just attack kills. Alright, let's try this out. It's more of a cowardly build where I just try to do my earthquaking and I need time running to... around, running away with the fleet.
30 second cooldown on leap. Wait. Really good cooldown. I guess I have to land on some enemies. This is actually kind of cool. The mobility, I always wanted to have a mobility build in D4, but there was never really an option. I'm not ready. I never use any abilities, not radiation, sleep, or um, ground stomp. Much faster. Next battle to get that leap in. I don't have enough fury. Quick's doing its thing. All I need now is like Smacking rocks into the ground. It's like smashing rocks and stuff. Sounds crazy. This is a, to me a viable build for like people using just core and uh, basic attacks like Whirlwind. They probably get bored of that. Like they want something more. This is good. Ground stop for me. Good combo. He actually use weapons. He's a leap. Doesn't use weapons. Leap actually does, but ground top doesn't. That was kind of epic. Well, yeah, we got some great. Ancestrials to upgrade to. Just huge boost in power. Alright, we're gonna have to go do that. Here's the bathroom, so I think I'm gonna end it here and come back. I've been tr probably doing this for almost two hours now. Definitely chopping everything up, though. You know, I chop everything up. 30 minute episodes, 20 minute episodes. Chop it up. I think this might be the first season I'm gonna complete. <laughs> Just from how fun it is and the pace, it's all there. Ball lining. And I need reputation increase. Paragon board, or Paragon. Worming Oval. Let's get a reputation boost. Let's get my rotation up quick. My rear back. 